welcome to sundar's lecture this is lecture number 16 and in this lecture we are going to see super node problems see we have already seen super mesh problems what is super super mesh problems uh, in mesh current analysis method if we have see we will take a uh, see we if we have like this if we have a, a circuit like this to understand i am just drawing this so uh, we will take like this so this is the circuit we would have have so like this if we have a circuit like this then if you have a current source in between two loops see this is loop number 1 this is loop number 2 and if we have a current source in between two loops then we will call these type of circuits as super mesh problems if we are going to solve this problem using mesh current analysis method then we will call this type of circuits these types of circuits as super mesh problems right so like that <coughs> here in this uh, 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 one minute so like this so here you see in this problem so this uh, here this is the node a so let us we take this uh, uh, this problem see this is node a that we have already know see three branches are connected here this is one branch this is second branch this is third branch so this will be node a and you see this is node b this should be node b since there are three branches connected one two and three at this point so this is node b and you see this is uh, at this point this is node c since there are three branches connecting so this will be node c see here is one node uh, here is one branch here is one branch another branch is connected here so there are three three nodes and with respect to what this is reference node this you have to understand so this will be reference node this will be reference node see uh, all the negative points are uh, uh, connected at this point and uh, we will call this as a reference node now you see this is node b and this is node c between these two nodes there is a voltage source if you see any problems like this then how will you write the current expression here not possible not possible because you don't have any resistor at this uh, branch so you cannot write the current what is i1 or i2 if, you, if, if this is taken as i1 or i2 then we cannot write current here so these types of problems we are calling it as super node problems if there is any voltage source between two nodes then we will call this as super node problems right we try to solve this problem by kcl method that is what we have uh, uh, seen in the previous class we would have seen see we we would have seen the nodal voltage analysis method by the kcl method and we have uh, seen uh, how to write the shortcut methods in the previous class right so now by using that knowledge we try to write the uh, case kcl expressions to solve this problem right so for that what we need to do first we need to uh, draw the current direction see the, this this is one branch this is this is one branch this is one branch and this is another branch so what i will do i will draw this is i1 up to my knowledge i have taken this current direction this is i1 and i am taking this is i2 and you see this this uh, this branch i am taking this branch as i3 like this so now how will you write or uh, apply kcl now you apply kcl at node a so you apply kcl so you see i1 is coming in i2 and i3 are going away so you straight away right now it is not necessary to write put e equal to symbol or uh, nothing like that since we know this we have already seen these type of things so this will be the 
no uh, kcl at node a right so after completing this what you need to do what you need to do you have to find what is i1 i2 and i3 that is your ultimate aim now so to find i1 so i am just writing the expression for i1 so how will you find i1 so you see i1 i1 this branch is started at point o so started at point o that should be what plus 0 that should be plus 0 then the current is like this this direction the current is passing through this 20 volt source from minus to plus right so from minus to plus so what you have to do so you have to put plus 20 here plus 20 then this current this branch is ended at point o, point a this point a which is not which is nothing but what this is v a o reference with respect to o this point voltage is v a o so that should be minus because it is end, in end point that should be in minus divided by what is the resistance here one that's all this is expression number two this is expression number two so uh, anyhow we will simplify this so if we simplify this i1 should be equal to what 20 minus vao that's all divided by 1 will be same right so this is expression number 2 now so now what you need to do you need to write what is i2 so if you want to write what is i2 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 will be equal to what so where it is started a so this should be this should be plus vao and where it is ended there is no voltage source where it is ended that is ended at b so that should be what minus vbo divided by what is the resistance here 3 ohms simple that's all this is expression number 3 this is expression number 3 that is that is how uh, we need to write for i2 right so for i3 for i3 i am writing so for i3 what you will get i3 should be equal to i3 this this branch is started at point a and ended at point c that we know we can easily see starting point is a according to this current direction i am saying where it is started where is where it is ended right so it is started at a so that should be plus vao plus vao and i am traveling in this direction you see i am traveling from plus to minus in two also so that should be minus two and where it is ended at point c so it should be minus vco minus vco divided by what is the resistance for ohms so this is expression number four that's all we have written i1 and i2 i3 we have written here now what you what you need to do you need to go for this b node this b node see if uh, seeing this b node you need to assume the current directions right so already we have assumed this as i2 no problem so we don't need to write any i2 here uh, we we have already written so this one i am writing it as i4 which i am just assuming because there is no current assumed in this branch and you see i can assume the current in this in this node as as x why i am assuming this as x since i i don't have any resistance here it is not possible to write the current direction anyway i will write now see you 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 apply kcl you apply apply kcl at node b kcl at node b what you will get if i apply kcl at node b you see i2 is coming in i4 and x are going away see x is current now x i am assumed it as current see i2 is coming in i4 and x are going away so what you need to write so i2 it is coming in so it has to be in the left hand side x plus i4 x plus i4 this is expression number 5 so you need to find what is i2 what is i4 and what is x so i2 you have already found so no problem you can easily substitute in this expression but i4 you need to find what is i4 to find i4 how will you find i4 so i am writing for i4 i4 should be equal to see this is the current direction where it is started it is started at point b so it has to be 
not point B, node B. So this is VBO plus VBO and it has ended at O. That means it is 0. So minus 0 will give you same VBO. Divided by what? This resistance, 2 ohms. So I4 should be VBO divided by 2. So this is expression number 6. You see, I am not going to write anything for X here. I have to keep X as X. Why? See if, see if, I, if I write, if I write for X, anyhow. Why I am keeping this as X? That also will, uh, will be revealed here. If I write for X, where it is started at point B, VBO, VBO. So, this is plus VBO and where it has ended, as we see this current is traveling from plus to minus in the voltage source. So, that will be minus 1 and where it is ended at VCO. So, that should be minus VCO and divided by what here? There is no resistor. So, if I put 0 here, what you will get? Not possible, right? Anything by 0, it will be infinity. How can I write an in, uh, infinity term here? It is not possible. Not possible to do an infinity thing in the expressions. Right? Okay, fine. So, what you need to do, you, you just please keep this x as x. We will find. We can easily cancel terms uh, in terms of uh, VB1, VC1. I will tell you uh, later. So, you just keep this x as x. x there is a current flowing in this uh, branch that I am keeping it as x. That's all. You don't do anything with the x. Now, what you do? Apply KCL at C. So, this, this you don't need to do. You don't need to find. So, now you apply KCL at node C. So, apply, apply KCL at node C. So, what you will get? See, uh, this is I3 I have already taken. X is already taken. This I have not taken yet. So, uh, so this one. You take it as I5 because I4 already have taken. So, I5. So, you see now you apply KCL at uh, node C. X, I3 is coming in. X is also coming in. So, and I, I5 is going away. So, what I can write? I3 is coming in plus X is also coming in to the node. So, that should be here. That should be equal to I5 is going away. So, that will be I5. So, this is expression number 7. I am taking the 7. See, I3 and X is already exist. Right? Already it is existing. I3 I have already found here. X we have to keep it as X. And I need to find only I5 here. So, if I want to find I5. I5 will be equal to. What is I5? So, where it is started? VCO. So, that should be plus VCO. Then, it is passing through 3 volt source. So, that should be minus 3 because it is passing from plus to minus in the, in the source, this current. So, that should be minus 3 and where it is ended at O point. So, minus O, minus 0 I don't need to write because that will give nothing. So, divided by what is this resistor? That is 5. That is 5. So, this is expression number 8. Now, you see we have found everything. All the currents has been found. You need to substitute in one 5 and 7 to get the expression. And you see one thing. If you substitute everything in this 3 expression, you will get 4 unknowns. 4 unknowns. What is those things? VAO, VBO, VCO and X. So, you need to eliminate any one unknown. So, that I will explain you while solving the expressions or equations. Now, you see. I want to tell you one thing. This is very interesting too. See, if I want to write VCO, expression for VCO, I am writing expression for VCO. So, what is VCO? This, this is VCO or you can travel like this. From this point to this point to here. That is also VCO. See, from here to here it is VBO. So, that is I am writing it as VBO. You see, if I go in this direction, I have to travel from plus to minus in the 1 volt source. So, that should be minus 1. That is all. Average to point C. So, this is the VCO expression. You make it as 9. We will continue in the next class. Thank you. Mm -hmm.